It is hopping here at the Rotary Arts Center in Cornerbrook as we are acknowledging the stars of tomorrow. And one of those stars of tomorrow is here with me right now, Peter McDonald. You may know him as Pete. Hey. How are you doing, Pete? Good, very good. Excited to be here tonight. Yeah, and it's hopping here right now. It is. It's super energetic. The first two performances were awesome. It was uh, Summer Bennett and uh, Darcy. And yeah, they, they there were two were wonderful awesome. stars that we'll definitely be seeing more of in, uh, in the years to come. Yeah, Now, uh, for yourself, uh, how excited are you to be here in Cornerbrook for Music Celebration Week? I'm very excited. It's an excellent opportunity to network, meet new people, uh, get your music out there, and uh, just connect with the community some more. Yeah, that's wonderful. Now, um, of course, you're an emerging artist yourself. You've been at it for a couple of years now. Try my best. Um, how important are these events for uh, young talent there just to get their name out there and, uh, you know, just uh, build their experience? Like, how important is it for them to have this kind of events? I think it's very important. I think it's an opportunity for talent to uh, reach things that they, or reach people, audiences, uh, opportunities that they couldn't otherwise do without this event. Um, I think Music and L provides a really important service for the artist to have an opportunity to grow. And, uh, yeah. All in all, I really think it's a, an event that if you're trying to get into music, you should attend. Yeah, for sure. Now, um, you yourself, uh, you've uh, you've uh, have released some 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 of your solo stuff, yeah. and you've uh, you're a co-lead vocalist in uh, all pop band with Violet. Thank you. Um, what are a couple of things that for someone that wants to get into the music industry, like what are three things, like what are a few things that some uh, aspiring musicians should have if they want to like have some uh, sustainability and uh, some consistency in the music industry. Consistency and sustainability I think comes from a couple things but my biggest two tips for those for consistency and sustainability would be to trust yourself trust the plans that you've made and follow them through when you trust in yourself you are going to make great things um, now trusting yourself to me also kind of means trust the community that you've built so however that means and another thing uh, is networking. Networking is a huge thing in order to be a sustainable musician. You have to be making new connections. You have to be uh, reaching out and uh, discovering new opportunities around every corner. And networking at a place like Music Canal is really important uh, in order to do that. For sure, yeah. for sure. So, uh, who are you most most looking forward to meet here with Music Celebration Week this week? Ooh, that's a good question. Nick Earl. I've met him a couple times, but I'm excited to hopefully actually like talk to him because I'm loving his new album. And uh, yeah, he's a, I, I hear he's a great guy. Awesome, and what are you looking uh, to take away from uh, Music Celebration Week 2022? Oof, I'm hoping to take away some new opportunities. Uh, I'm hoping to take away some personal growth, and I'm hoping to take away some uh, good stories because there's only good musicians and good laughs to come. Awesome, Pete. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks for having me, Zach.